I'd heard about Mother Teresa, but I really didn't get into the depth of what she did. I'd heard about this little nun. And I uh, worked trauma medicine, and I was, that week I'd probably been about 30 hours straight, and I was pretty tired, and I went to my in-law's house, and my father-in-law said, uh, "You are you tired, Frank? I said, man, I'm really tired. I've worked 30 some hours. And he said, he handed me a little book. And the book was about Mother Teresa. It wasn't very thick, just a little one. He said, read about this person here, this nun. And uh, I did. And when I got done, I actually felt kind of guilty for saying that I was tired because of the sacrifice and everything that this book was telling me that this nun was doing. So then I wanted to know more about her. So I started buying books and I started reading. And she's really uh, one of the real reasons uh, I knew I could do my program, the Moral Values Program. When we, when we knew about Mother Teresa and everything and we, and we started the program, I was like, wouldn't it be great if we could get Mother Teresa, if I could meet her or if she could come or she'd hear about us or something. And one day we get a call from uh, a friend of mine, a Dr. Platt, and he says, there's a woman that's gonna come to your house and she's uh, wanted to know if she could bring you some medals and share some pictures because she has w uh, worked with Mother Teresa. And my wife and I were both just blown away, what? And we said, of course. And this woman came, her name was Laura Caraccio. And she'd worked actually with Mother in, uh, in Calcutta at the House of the Dying. And she showed us, for, she was there about an hour or so, and then and, uh, she showed us and, and my kids the pictures and everything else. And uh, that's how she, she really came into being solid into our, into our lives. And then we heard that my, uh, the sisters, Bishop Garcia was going to be bringing the sisters to Sacramento, or he was involved in, in bringing them, something like this. And we were, kept reading about him in the paper, and uh, we were thinking, wow, wouldn't it be great if we could meet them, they could come, see what we do? But you know, we were in the hood, we were in the barrio, so it's never gonna happen. And Bishop called me and he said, uh, he said, Frank, are you gonna be home? You and Monica said, yes. And that's all he said. And next thing you know, he shows up about 45 minutes later, an hour. And my wife and I were both standing out on the porch and we saw four doors open up. And then we saw the saris. And we knew that was Mother Ch We knew it was the nuns. And, uh, you know, what, what happened next, we didn't know until I talked to, to uh, Sister uh, Damastine that she, she had told uh, Sister Christopher, why is this man and his wife crying? Because we just started, we broke down. I mean, we just started crying when we saw him coming. And uh, then we found out that Bishop had just called them and said, we want to take you somewhere. Didn't tell them where. So neither one, neither one of us knew what was happening. But uh, the sisters came in the house. We talked for about an hour. We, we gave them a tour of, of our grounds. And then S Sister Damastine, she goes, I don't know how, but we'd like to work with you and your kids. I mean, total miracle. 